Hey, what's going on guys? Hopefully you guys are finding a lot of value of, from the videos that I'm making every day, uh, talking about different concepts of CFA level two. Uh, so once again, we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at the quants, right? Uh, so we're gonna build up from the from we left off. Um, so we left off before was the topic of hydro skedasticity, uh, right? Uh, so once again, we're, today we're gonna talk about the topic of serial correlation. Right, so we're gonna talk about serial correlation, uh, but just wanna back up a bit and take a look at the bigger time, uh, the bigger framework of in terms of what serial correlation is. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at in terms of uh, build up again from uh, assumptions for regression. Right, so for you guys who have been following my videos, uh, you can take a look at the video we talked about assumptions assumptions for regression. Uh, so once again, we build it up. Uh, number one is. Uh, the relationship uh, between dependent and independent variable should be linear, right? Uh, so what it means, we have y and x-axis. Uh, this should be a linear, should, this is good. Uh, Long linear, right? This is not good, right? Uh, second thing we talked about is in terms of the error terms. So the error terms should not have a pattern. That's a big one, All right? So when you talk about a regression line, y equals b0 plus b1x plus the error term, this is a regular regression line. Condition number one we talked about over here is that this should be a linear, right? Uh, not exponential. Second is the error terms uh, should not have a pattern. So if you try to break it down, let's say you have y and x, y and x, right? So when you talk about the error term should not have a pattern is let's say once again, you have this regression line that you have, right? This is the, you want to call y hat, which is the y hat, right? Uh, so that's the prediction of the our regression line. Uh, when you talk about errors should not have a pattern, it means you know what errors could be error terms could be here 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 here, here. right so it should not be you know what uh, the error term starts going like this so if you try to do it it's gonna look like this right so it means the error term should have a pattern uh, this one with no pattern is called homoscedasticity uh, and this one is called heteroscedasticity right that's what it really is uh, the other one that we talked about which is what is going to be the topic of concern for us. Just give me a second. Right, let me just go to a page. Right. I just do a new page. Okay, so the other one that we talked about, uh, the assumptions of linear regression is gonna be in terms of the errors should not be serially correlated. Now what it means, there should be no serial correlation. So for example, once again, if there's a regression line, right, there's always a regression line, uh, but you talk about, uh, let's draw it over here. So let's draw it properly. So these are two y and x axis, right? Uh, so when you talk about error term should not have a serial correlation, which means, you know what? Uh, it can be here, 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 right? Should not have any serial correlation. Uh, on the other terms, uh, they could be, you know what, the error terms are looking like this. Right, so if you try to draw a line, it's gonna look like this. So what it means is uh, positive errors are followed by a positive error. A negative error is followed by a negative error, right? So when you have a positive error, you have followed by a positive, and you have a negative error, it's followed by a negative. So this is what is called a serial correlation. So this is no serial correlation because it has a 
positive error is not followed by a positive errors, right? This is uh, this one has a serial correlation, right? Which is so this is actually good that there is no co there is no serial correlation, and this one actually has serial correlation, so this is actually bad. All right, so we want uh, our regression lines to be this. Now, when you talk about hey, you know what? Uh, what are the few things that can um, if, if there's a serial correlation, what are really the consequences? Right, so what are consequences we'll have is, uh, number one, uh, the regression line that we have, that's not gonna be best fit, right? Because that's not really, even though the error terms are serially correlated, uh, when you talk about say, T stat, equals b1 over sb1 so even though this error terms are serially uh correlated right uh our this one is still going to be the line of best fit that's what it really means now in terms of how are we going to identify if there is a serial correlation right uh so let's say hey you know what if we have a regression line So how are we going to go and identify a serial correlation? Uh, there's something called as a Durbin-Watson test. Uh, this is a key one that I would definitely recommend you to take a look at. Uh, also called as DW test. Right. Uh, so the most common one is DW is uh, 2, 1 minus R, where R is the correlation between the current error term and prior error term. So which means current error term is what? Error t, prior is error t minus one. So that's when you talked about, uh, when you talk about serial correlation, uh, the error term should, the positive should not follow by a positive, negative should not, so it's, it's not like this, right? Uh, now when you talk about, hey, you know what? When you talk about, uh, once again, the null hypothesis and all the other fun stuff. So we have right. So this is what we have. Uh, so if there is, let's say, you know what, looking at this equation, uh, if there is a plus one, right, if there's a plus one, which means there is going to be a positive serial correlation, right? If the value of the DW test, if it falls in here, uh, which means there's going to be no serial correlation. And of course, if it falls in here, you're going to have a negative serial correlation. So let's justify, okay? You know what? Uh, let's do another chart on here. Let me try to recreate what I did on here. So this is a lower, this is the upper, this is a value two. All right, so we are looking at the equation dw equals two, one minus r. So positive serial correlation, no serial correlation and you have a negative serial correlation. So let's say, uh, let's say, you know what? Uh, condition one, let's say R equals zero. If R equals zero, we're gonna do it over here. So derivative Watson two, one minus zero is gonna be two. So if there is no correlation, the value is gonna be two. So that's why over here, if you take a look at it, there is no serial correlation. Uh, second condition, let's say R equals one. So DW two, one minus one is going to be zero. So zero and the lower end is going to have a positive serial correlation. R equals to one is positive serial correlation. The third condition is R equals negative one. That's a negative serial correlation, right? So we do DW equals two. Um, let's say, do let's do it this way. One minus minus one, right? So what do we get? Two, one plus one. Uh, that's two times two, that's equals four. 
Hence, we have a negative serial correlation, right? So we want to do identify, hey, you know what? Is there a correlation between the error terms? Then this is what we call as a Durbin Watson test, uh, which we can use to go and identify, hey, you know what? If there is there a positive serial correlation? Is there a negative serial correlation? Or if there's no serial correlation? So depending on the values that we get for DW, the formula over here, uh, we can identify if there is serial correlation. If there is serial correlation, then you know what, there's issues, right? Uh, we, does not, we don't want to have any serial correlation within the error terms. That's it for the day, guys. So that's the video about serial correlation. Any questions, let me know. If you do like the video, do like and subscribe. Gonna make more videos for you guys in the coming days.